What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. Welcome to Paul Paul, Act 1. Uh, downloaded this, can't remember where... Where, where. Anyway, happy. I recorded this on a Sunday. And that's out, so... I guess these are the backlogs. Paul. 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 What? It's time. It's time. What? 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 So we could just spook. Now you are alone. Talk to this TV. Tell them these things that are mean. How are we alone when we're all together stuck in these tiny houses? Read me that. What? Real wall. Mixed with. Stop it. I, uh. Time to eat some toast, bitch. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? Fuck this bread. What? Wait. It's like what? Shut your fucking mouth. Fuck that jam, I ain't picking it up. Oh, forget all that jam. I read the news. I didn't even read it. Pretty much. The Vespucci brings the Red Planet out. Well, the Red Planet out from several diverse fields of science and technology, and their arrival marks the beginning of the next crucial phase of Exocom's Mars terraforming strategy, termed Green Cloak. Can I turn the page? Like you can't teleport on news. I'm like, why can't I? Okay. That's annoying. Can we do it? Ah! It's time. Hi. Stepping over the wall, I'm in. A Churchill. I've been working for this scientist studying Mars since 1954 when Mariner 4 was launched. Fuck Mars, how'd you do the table? could only guess what Mars was like. This is a Mars horror game. They show a cratered surface, much like our Earth. 
I would say that I'm definitely not ready for that right now, or this early in the morning. You guys, this is pretty awesome. This place is a pretty cool thing. Mariner 9 was launched. Next step, stuff. Start fighting with everybody on Earth. We could just be like going and getting our own rocks on. I mean, so many stars are out there. Later, that hopefully, are owned by other aliens. <laughs> saw a small dust storm in the southern hemisphere grow and spread across the surface. All markings gradually disappeared under the dust. What? As the dust storm continued month after month, Holy the shit. began to get very anxious about whether the cameras would be able to see anything. Holy crap. When Mariner 9 finally reached Mars, signals sent from Earth put it into orbit first spacecraft ever to orbit another planet. We turned on its cameras and began receiving the long-awaited first pictures. Holy crap. They showed virtually nothing. Nothing but dust. The only markings in most of the photographs were the dots in the camera grid. We saw only two things on the entire surface of Mars. The bright south portal after the dust, and four large dark spots near the Martian equator. But if the surface of Mars was covered only with craters, what could be sticking up high enough to show above the dust storm? Huh. When the dust finally cleared after nearly two agonizing months, what we saw was a real shock. The photos showed a gigantic volcano with a large crater at its top. Wow. At first, I really couldn't believe it. A volcano would mean that Mars was alive and active inside, and not a cold, dead planet. This one feature, this immense, flat, circular volcanic mountain, made us reconsider everything we'd previously written or said about Mars. It's so immense it boggles the mind. Close-up photos were taken in orbit after orbit. When they were pieced together into a mosaic map, more surprises emerged. The other three spots were also gigantic volcanoes part of a large volcanic area. Each of these mountains is over 200 miles across. Whoa. But the volcanic area was just the beginning. Next to it, we found a strange pattern of huge cracks which because of its shape was nicknamed the chandelier. At one time in Mars history, there must have been violent movement and fracturing to cause this gigantic cracking. Near the 
chandelier, we found some smaller cracks we called the elephant eyes. The several different directions of these markings indicate various periods of cracking. These cracks and the volcanoes mean that there has been enormous activity and heat beneath the surface of Mars. Huh. Next to the chandelier area, and actually stemming out from it, is another major discovery. Running along the equator of Mars is an immense canyon. Its size is extraordinary. As Mariner 9 passed over Mars, instruments measured the depths of the canyon. It's over three and a half miles deep in many places. If it were on Earth, it would stretch from Boston to San Francisco. Wow. The Grand Canyon in Arizona would be a small crack by comparison. Wow. It's on a planet half the size of the Earth. Over a thousand photographs were pieced together to make a map showing the surface of Mars all the way around the planet. The other half of Mars, beyond the canyon, was mainly cratered, with no volcanoes, no canyons, nothing suggesting internal activity. Little apparently had happened on this side of the planet over billions of years to disturb the ancient landscape. It was in this area that the earlier spacecraft had photographed all the craters, leading us to believe that Mars is like the moon. The fact that Mars has volcanoes on one side and mainly craters on the other means liquid rock has poured out on that one side and destroyed the older landscapes there, but that this process hasn't yet spread around the whole planet. We now believe that Mars is just beginning to heat up inside. It may look something like the Earth did millions of years ago. centuries, astronomers have seen them grow and shrink with the seasons. One of the earlier spacecraft photographed part of the south polar cap when it was almost at its maximum size. By contrast, when Mariner 9 arrived, the cap had shrunk to just this small patch. If the cap was carbon dioxide as we had thought, Small remaining Paul, I am in the States for Paul. What? I just fell off the couch. Information from Mariner 9 Screw it. overwhelmed the scientists. We are completely changing our ideas about our neighbor planet. And we'll be studying these photos and other data for years. Certainly there will be other surprises when we land on the surface. Mariner 9, we've begun to see Mars for the first time as it really is. Alright. That was pretty cool. It must be pretty cool because I sat through that entire thing. Okay. Let me get a drink of water here. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We know. We was interested. Right. <laughs> so no, we can't go that way. So I think this is going to be some existates. Jim in the joint. Microscopic theory of waves and non-homogeneous collisionless plasmas. Engineers reference. It's just some playing books too. Also the 
archetypes of AI personality. <laughs> what? Two more spacecraft flew past the planet and photographed 10% of the surface. We discovered that the polar ice caps were thin I broke the game. Rather than water ice uh. as on Earth. Holy crap, what in that don't... That's all bad over there. And the rest of the pictures again shows practically nothing but craters. Oh, I didn't hear that one. All these craters indicated to me that the Mars is probably a dead hunk of rock. Ow, hit myself in the ear. But we'd have to Pair to know for sure. <laughs> that would mean putting a spacecraft in orbit around Mars. Para terraforming. One five nine or nine nine. Go places, just okay. It's Exocom. Exocom. Okay. A few months later, scientists watching Mars with telescopes saw a small dust storm in the southern hemisphere grow and spread across the surface. All markings gradually disappeared under the dust. As the dust storm continued month after month, a lot of us began to get very anxious about whether the cameras would be able to see anything. Lady Captain, Madison, we had your predicted dial link on 59 or decimal 3, Maxwell 159 or decimal 2. Good morning, Paul. You're up early. I know. I wanted to make some videos. They showed virtually nothing. Nothing but dust. I drew a hand in most of the photographs were the dots in the camera. What? We saw only two things on the entire surface of Mars. The bright south photo after the dust. And four large dark spots near the Martian equator. What? But if the surface oh my goodness gracious. What could be sticking up high enough to show above the dust storm? The dust finally cleared after nearly two agonizing months. What we saw was a real shock. The photos showed a gigantic... I gotta pack this up. They're gonna think I'm insane. At first, I really couldn't believe it. A volcano would mean that Mars was alive and active inside, and not a cold, dead planet. White, blue, Asia. everything we'd previously written or said about Mars. It's so immense it boggles the mind. Close photos were taken in orbit after orbit. They were pieced together into a mosaic map more surprising than most. The calculations are complete before. And results are interesting. How interesting. Mona? Take a look for yourself. He has had a big experiment for me. It's reflection. Looks cool. Oh, 
shit. Huh. Successful fusion? That's the thing that's really hard to. It's time for a change. Yes, it is. What's that? I finally did cold fusion. Disappear if I get close up to him. Drop my suitcase over here. What? No pieces. Oh, yeah, I'll pick it up. Uh, my plans. Uh. What the fuck? Time to get to work, Paul. Oh, 
five days left. I've been here for 190 days. Okay. How long has it been, Mama? I'm looking for mistakes early. Oh, what do you make planet fall in five days? Planet fall. I don't feel so good. Be sure you've taken your recovery meds, Paul. You'll feel better in no time. Recovery meds. I didn't see any of those. Already done. Ah. 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 Mona. dream of good game good game okay holy crap I can eat him in the air that's pretty awesome dude Make some shoot up. This is awesome. I don't know what to do next in the story, but this is great. I'm probably gonna die from eating all these vitamins and protein supplements. Shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. What's happening, Mona? Air yeah, shooting library. Why? 
What? Paul. 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 It's time. I have, I think my mind got blown. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that that was the end, I think. But I definitely need to play this again some more later, but. It seems to be like a, a constantly looping thing. Possibly with some secrets in it. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Prior Technic Plays. Hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm going to be uploading these like later on. And the old internet's out, so I'm creating a nice backlog to spam y'all with when I get it. Uh, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool, dude. I that was very educational. I feel that was definitely uh, pretty darn sweet. So thank you guys for uh, checking out this episode. Uh, developer, this is this is some sick nasty shit. You got some cool stuff, the glitching and everything, made the teleporting seem a little more natural. It was just, just, just good game all around. Good mystery, good like actual, like factual, possibly good stuff. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll see you guys when I make another one.